I just read yesterday that unfortunately John C. Koss passed away recently. And if you've been in audio at all, or if you had a Walkman back years ago, you probably heard the brand name Koss. And one of the reasons was they were renowned and well known for their headphones. And in fact, John C. Koss was one of the co-inventors of the first stereophone, as it was called. Now, I was kind of amazed to find out that um, it was debuted only in 1958. I thought that the stereo headphone was a lot older than that, but then again, of course, stereo was introduced, I believe, in 1954, so maybe that's not such a stretch. What's interesting about uh, Koss was that not only did, were they known for, you know, your standard headphones and made them for, well, to this day they're still making them and some models are still being made in, in the United States, uh, but they were very, very early into the portable audio market. And in fact, the original concept of the stereo headphone, or as we just say today, headphones, was because Koss wanted to develop a portable turntable. Think about that for a second. <laughs> but where Koss really made a major breakthrough was with the advent of the Walkman, of a portable audio, stereo audio system. Koss had the foresight to, to realize that this was gonna be a big thing and they introduced a, a high quality pair of headphones called the, the Koss Porta Pro, which uh, folded up nicely so that they were compact, obviously not as compact as, as you know, today's uh, earbuds or AirPods or anything like that, but that product is still produced today, amazingly enough. Now, you might be wondering, well, okay, you're a speaker, you work for a speaker company, Andrew, why are you talking about, you know, uh, a headphone company? Well, think about the ramifications of that invention. Think about how many preamps and how many receivers or AVRs have you ever seen that don't have a headphone jack on them? I bet you you can't name very many. The headphone has become completely ubiquitous, ingrained in, in, in culture. Everybody uses them these days with, you know, usually with their smartphones. But I just wanted to give a little shout out to, you know, John Koss for that amazing inv invention that, that really changed the world of consumer audio forever. And I think I think it was a huge, one of the biggest contributions to the consumer electronics, audio and video. I mean, even gaming today, think of these gaming headsets. Just an amazing, amazing invention. And it's incredible to think back that it really, 1958, it was not that long ago. Now, I just want to say also, I've been asked many, many times over the years, hey, Andrew, why have you not designed a headphone? Or, you know, the companies you've worked for, hasn't got into the headphone business. Well, you know, never say never, but headphones are a completely different beast than designing a loudspeaker. It's a whole different world of the transducer technology, miniaturization, crossover is done mechanically rather than electrically whether that's passive or active, and also just the way that you have to measure headphones. And frankly, standards or standardization for headphone measurements have still not become commonplace, although there are standards now. There's been a lot of work done by Harman on this. Paul Barton from PSB has done a lot of work on trying to match quote unquote room sound, how you would perceive a pair of loudspeakers in a room and trying to mimic that with headphone performance. But, you know, it's a, it's, it's a transducer. It's essentially a small speaker in a headphone, but it ain't the same thing. I hope that was of interest for you. Maybe share a story with me if you, if you wouldn't mind in the comments about you know, your first pair of headphones or did you ever upgrade if you had a, if you had a Walkman or an early 
iPod, did you ever upgrade and use a higher quality set of headphones when listening on the go? I'd love to hear it. Thank you as always for watching.